Alright everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be unboxing this Hyper Beach Cruiser. It's a men's Hyper Beach Cruiser and it's black. So let's get right to it. Package wasn't too badly damaged. There was a hole here and it's a kickstand that's poking out. And there was a hole here where the wheel is poking out. See? Yep. It's still on threads. So go ahead and just rip this open. So this is going to be an unboxing video and uh, assembly video of unboxing and assembling the bike. Says, warning, this bike is not meant to be ridden by riders who weigh more than 275 pounds. That's nice to give you right on here. Tools required then. Phillips head screwdriver, 4mm, 5mm, 6mm and 8mm Allen keys. Adjustable, adjustable wrench or 9mm, 10mm, 14mm. And 15 millimeter open box and wrenches and pliers with a cable cutting ability. Okay. Well, there she is. Now we get to see how it looks. Ooh, the handlebars are a little bit scuffed. Paint off right there. Not too bad. Looks pretty good. They even pump your tires up for you. Which is nice, I guess. So this is a 26 inch bike as well. See how we're gonna keep this back. Just go like that. Alright. Time to unbox and see what's in this project. So, we're going to need something to snip those zip ties. Alright, so let's go ahead and cut these. So we have our fender, which is uh, damaged. It looks like a little bit. Assemble the bike. Okay, now I got all of the cardboard and plastic and cardboard stuff off. There's my uh, pedals that come with it, also. Look like there's some nice heavy duty metal pedals. So, time to build it. Yeah, build it basically. So, I guess we'll go and start assembling it and put it together. Alright. And if you aren't subscribed to the channel, make sure to go subscribe to the channel for more future videos on this bike and my other motorized bike. I have a 49cc 4-stroke and a 2-stroke 60cc 80cc is coming in the mail. So make sure to go smash that like button and smash that subscribe button on my channel. And thank you for tuning in. Alright, let's get to it. Alright, so... Time to do assembly. First off, we're going to put the bicycle seat on the bike, and then we're going to flip it upside down and install the fender and the front tire, so it'll be easier that way. All right, I'm going to go and just tighten these down and put her on. Okay, now, so we went ahead and just threw on the front tire quickly so we could see how level the seat was, and then we're going to take the seat off. And snug up these two bolts because it's adjusted to our correct level. Then we're going to uh, take the front tire back off and flip it around and install the fender in the wheel. Alright, see you soon. 
All right, all snug down, so I'll go ahead and throw that on, like so. And then we'll flip back around and install our handlebars. All right. All right. So the front fender. Like I said, it had this, just these little marks up here, small dent, and I thought this was uneven at first, which it is, but when you push it up, it kind of straightens itself out, so we'll go ahead and... Okay, and then they also give you this Hyper Bike Co. Bicycle Owner's Manual, so that is pretty nice. And you just flip through Bicycle Assembly, and then it shows you right here exactly how the front fender goes on so it's actually going to go behind the uh, front forks like that so we'll go and put that on now all right the same on the other side okay so now after we have the top screws right here well it's actually the bottom when you flip the bike over anyways the fender ones after you have those snugged up you move down to the bottom bolts down here all right so then you go ahead and take a 10 millimeter socket and snug up this front fender while also having a Phillips head screwdriver up front. They use a Phillips head screwdriver on this side. Otherwise you could use a 10 millimeter straight wrench. What's it works even better. Just place that on that end. And we'll start snugging it up. As you can see, I got the big spacer, and that kind of curves around with the fender, and then I have the small washer and then the lock nut. So now we'll go ahead and install all this front tire, like so. So far. It goes like this. We'll make sure the tire treads are the correct way. Sounds like we need to adjust our fender a little bit down. <laughs> so then after you have the wheel installed, make sure you spin it so that it clears down there the fender. Clear is good on mine, and voila, that's good to go. And then the socket that you're going to need is a 15 millimeter. That's the size you're going to need for these bolts right here. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and assemble our pedal assembly. So we're going to take the left pedal, there's an L on the pedal, and there's also an L on the pedal arm so that you can see so you know what where it goes. Alright, and then after you got it snowed up, go ahead and give it a spin. You got yourself some good working pedals now. Okay, so then you can go ahead and slide your handlebars into place after you adjust them. Like right here, the top part. You adjust, there's a X nut right there. Anyways, so there's gonna be some lines right here, and you go right there, so until the marks aren't showing. And that's where you stop. And then you want to make sure your wheel is straight when you install these, of course. So you just put the X nut on top. 
wind it down to tighten it. Alright, so now you can go ahead right away. And we'll go and assemble the fender onto the sides, just to wind out these screws. Okay, so for your next step that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to lift this fender up. Well, this chain guard actually is considered. And you want to snug down the chain guard. Hey everyone, it is done. There you have it. My men's beach cruiser hyper 26 inch beach cruiser bike it's pretty nice so make sure to leave a like and subscribe these are the tools that you're going to need for assembling it you're going to need a crescent wrench two of them like that actually Two crescent wrenches, a Phillips head screwdriver, a 15 millimeter socket, and a 10 millimeter socket. Where is that? Right there. 10 millimeter. And then a ratchet wrench for the sockets and a 10 millimeter straight wrench so there you have it she's a beaut uh, I can't wait to get her on the road and uh, ride it it's gonna be fun so it's a pretty sharp looking bike and I'm gonna put a motor on it as well so stay tuned for the bike build and there you have it, it is my unboxing and my assembly of the bike. All right, peace out everyone. Got some garbage on my hand. Peace out everyone. Have a good night. Remember to leave a like, comment down below in the comments. If you have any questions, appreciate it. Appreciate the comments. And smash that subscribe button. Roll to 1K so we can hit 1,000 subscribers. And peace out. Have a good night everyone. See ya. Adios, amigos.